Hello creative heroes, welcome back to another Canva tutorial. Today I will show you how you can create three brand logos for your small business. First logo that we will make is for a vegan online shop. Then there is a hipster Instagram clothing brand and the third one will be a tech startup. Let's open Canva and start creating. So let's again create a design. I would go for a logo in here so they will recommend me 500 by 500 pixels I think it's enough of course in theory you would need a little bit more our first brand name will be called Avolive so I'll just add a heading in here and now rewrite it to Avolive default font is a little bit too bold so now let's choose the type here and let's change it to some different one I think I like quick send Voila, the quicksand looks way better for a vegan brand. As it's a vegan brand, we definitely need some green leaves. So let's choose the elements and type leaves. Voila, we have a list of leaves in here. And now let's pick some that will suit our design. So let's pick this one, it looks pretty nice. It's free as well. It just appeared on our canvas. Now just move it a little bit in here and scale it down. Now I will move the text a little bit down so the logo is in the middle and also we'll move the leaves part is adding a ground so we'll go to the elements in here and choose this line. If I drag this white dot in here to the left the line will get smaller. Now I will move it to just the bottom of the leaves and now we will change its color so we'll do that in here what canva does is that it has all the colors that we are already using in the canvas so the green of the leaves are actually in here so we'll just pick let's say the light one so the avo life vegan brand is now done let's move to another one so i will add another page zoom in a little bit our clothing hips brand will be called plateaus after the great philosopher so we'll click into text and we'll add a heading we'll left click in here and rename it to plateaus let's change your font again we'll pick the one that is called bebas so i'll just write bebas in here and choose it so now let's move it in the middle now we'll go to the element section add some lines so i'll just click once now we'll just move it a little bit up here again we will resize it down a little bit as we did before with the vegan logo like this and now we'll move it on the top just see how canva is clever and it guides us when we hit the middle they will show this violet line in there now we'll copy the line so just right click press copy and then paste it down let's move it again to the middle and let's put it exactly here next thing we're gonna do is adding another line so i'll just click in here again this line will show up on my canvas now let's resize the line to let's say this size and rotate it by 90 degrees now let's move it on our logo let's say in here now i'll just make a copy of it so i'll right click copy and then right click again and paste so what we need to do is place it here at the very beginning and scale it down so i'll just grab this white dot on the top and just pull it down so when you resize the line down like this then it's good to hold a shift so it won't tilt to the sides now let's paste the line again and move it to the middle of those two lines again we will resize it a little bit down so it's in the middle of the height of the first line and the third now we'll copy this middle line just right click copy and paste we will be creating the rest of the wave that will go now the opposite side which means down again canva is very helpful with its guiding line so we can just really move it where it needs to be and last we will copy the first line again copy and paste and again move it to the very end of our wave i think it's already looking quite cool and what we want now is to have the wave here at the bottom so let's just left click and drag it over all of those lines we can see that all of them are chosen and now we'll just right click copy and paste it again so 
I will just rather move it right now down in here so we can see and rotate it and here we have a little rotation helper button so I'll just rotate it right now yes it's by minus 180 degrees all right and now the last thing we need to do is just moving it to where it needs to be which is here at the end of the bottom line now let's color the inner part of the O so we will spice our logo a little bit I'll just zoom in to 300 now I will add another shape change its color to the red let's do this one now we'll resize it down okay the size of the rectangle has to be big as this inner part of the O so we'll just move it on it and try to cover it okay now it looks pretty covered now resize it again so the rectangle is within the O I can still see a little white in here so I just resize it a little bit up the inner circle of the O is now covered by the rectangle so we'll just right click on the rectangle and set send to back what it will do is actually move it back behind the O and that's the way we color the inner circle let's make it big and move it to the middle it wouldn't be a hipster logo without any dots so let's add a circle shape resize it down let's change the color of it to red again we can see the document colors in here so we will use the same red as the inner circle of O and now let's move it the circle on the top of the middle line now we we'll right click and copy paste it down and move it to the other side the hipster clothing brand logo is now done and let's move to the last one the name of the tech company is Bitcrow, so let's move to the text here and add a heading double click on it and rename it to Bitcrow. again the default font is now quite soothing but I still prefer a different one my favorite one which is called Montserrat let's do the extra bold again let's move it a little bit down so there will be a space for the icon let's go to the elements and choose the rectangular shape resize it to this size now let's rotate it a little bit the, let's say 35 degrees and move it to the middle so now let's add a triangle shape so we will try to draw an abstract crow now so now i will click on the color and choose a different one let's do a little bit darker let's say like this resize the whole thing down and move it in the rectangle that we already have in and place it let's say here now we will copy this rectangle again so right click copy and paste now we will choose a lighter color so i'll choose a document color that is actually the blue of the big rectangle then I click on the new color and now I have actually that color so I can easily choose a lighter one so I like this one and again we will resize it again down and make the wings of our crown so now we'll just rotate it like this and move the rectangle here so that's the first wing <laughs> I hope that you can see the crown in there because I definitely don't see it uh, again we will copy now the small ones so I just right click on it copy and paste again we will resize it down and rotate it here okay this is perfect and now we'll just move it here now let's change the color of the big rectangle so I just click on it go in here and choose a new color I want to get something darker so it reminds us tech this is cool the first rectangle got a little bit lost so let's change its color I'll choose white because this dark blue color really goes well with white now let's choose the first triangle holding shift choosing the other and also the third one now using arrows on my keyboards I will move it a little bit to this place again we can see that these two rectangles are too touchy in there so I just move this wing a little bit a part of that and also the small one again with my keyboard arrows again we will left click and drag over everything and move the whole logo in the middle you can see that canva again helps you with its guidelines 
and the logo of our Bitcro tech company is also done. Let's have a look at the logos that we just learned how to make. First, we made a logo for a vegan online shop. Then we did a hipster clothing brand. And lastly, we made a logo for a tech company. So when you are done with your work, just click on the download in here and click download. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, please gently touch the like button and consider subscribing. I heard that subscribing brings good karma. Remember, be patient and enjoy the process. Tang is out.